What's up, Calvin Kane? Today we're going to be finding the unit vector tangent to y is equal to x squared at the point 2, 4. So what do we need to find a unit vector? Well, first of all, we need a vector. So let's find a vector. So if we graph y is equal to x squared, I'm sure you guys know how to do this by the time you're in count 3, but it's going to look boom, boom, boom like that. And this is point 2, 4. So our, unit, or so our tangent vector is going to look like that. So what we did already is we found a vector. It's pretty cool, right? So the slope of this line, well, we need to find the slope. So y prime is equal to 2x, x is equal to 2, so y prime of 2 is equal to 4. So what this means is basically this is the slope of our line. So you can basically write this as you go 1 over an x, and it goes up 4. And what we got is we just found a vector. Watch this, guys. Vector. That's what is equal to our vector, right? This is the equation of this, basically. If this was a vector, boom. We got a vector, it's pretty cool. So how do we convert this to a unit vector? Well, we find the magnitude and then we divide the vector by the magnitude. So the magnitude of V is basically the distance of this. That's gonna be equal to one squared plus four squared, which is equal to the square root of 17, of course. So now if we wanna find our unit vector, this is, this is the unit vector is equal to 1 over the square root of 17, 4 over the square root of 17. And basically what this is, is this is a vector that points in the same direction as the tangent line, but its magnitude is only 1. That means its distance is only 1. So yeah, that's what we got right here. And uh, that's how you solve this kind of problem. So uh, yeah, good luck in your homework.